Hello! I would like to show you today the highlights of Defector 2020.4 release. My name is Peter Schneider and I'm the Chief Product Officer at Defector. Let's start first with the Virtual Coach. The Virtual Coach is Effector's first implementation of artificial intelligence in the Effector platform. The Virtual Coach helps support agents to find similar issues, similar solutions when entering and creating a new issue such as an incident. So when you enter the subject and in the description text of the, the incident, once you click here on the right hand side onto the Virtual Coach icon, you will be getting suggestions of similar incidents that have occurred in the past. The similar incidents will be shown based on how similar they are with, with a rating that helps the agents to find it. And all of this depends also, for example, on other factors such as the categories. And as you see, once you change the category, it changes also the suggestions that help you to solve the problem. The next new feature I would like to demonstrate to you is our multi-language configuration support. This new capability allows administrators to enter localized text in the language of their choosing to any configuration text. Uh, this means that in future, the end user of the service management tool can switch the language on the fly and enjoy uh, both the attributes as well as the help text, the static values in a language that has been translated. And Effective provides out of the box uh, with its, its new baseline translations to German and Finnish today. And as you can see, uh, these work then on all ITSM templates such as problem, incident, knowledge base, and you can change them on the fly and simply browser refresh will do the trick to show the new language. Something I'm really excited to show you today is the new user interface and its first beta version that we are shipping with this release. The new UI implementation will feature a modernized way of showing all the details of a data card. And it will include additional functionality, which you can see here. So let's open just here, for example, a, a particular story and look at the details of it. What you can see here is all the traditional two column split. But for example, if we look then at another uh, data card, you can see that now the columns, for example, are disproportionately uh, split, something we couldn't do before here now in two to one setup. And now here in another example, we actually have a two to one to one setup and you can see also that the, the text boxes have now an adjustable and configurable height that allows you to show as much content at first glance as the admitter thinks is necessary. This release includes also an all new way to accessing the Effective platform. Nowadays, with this release, people can go to the self-service portal also as unregistered users, meaning we have no organization data of these and they can, without login, go to the platform with a simple recapture protecting the enterprise of, of uh, denial of service attacks and you can create then public services such as a whistleblower uh, report such as feedbacks and these can be done then in an anonymous form and provided to anybody that you're interacting with. Last but not least I'm glad to show you a new feature in the safe service portal. We have added now the ability to select the quantity for a single order and for shopping catalog orders. So as you can see here, you can choose then the quantity. It will show you the, the unit price and it will show total price. And this also works in the shopping catalog mode. So you can select one or several items to your shopping cart. And then in the shopping cart, you can then adjust the, uh, the quantity of how many of these items you actually want to buy. Once you're going down to the confirmation page, you will see again unit price of these particular items and their total price. The same information will be then shown in your My Request information in terms of ordered quantity. Now, these were a couple of, of highlights from the Effector 2020.4 release. As you can see, lots of exciting stuff going on. There is more to it. And, and please check on the community the release notes for the details. Uh, but for now, I'd like to thank you for your attention. My name is Peter Schneider. I'm the Chief Product Officer at Effector. Thank you and goodbye.